Hello everyone and welcome back to our mini kit rotation. We are on episode 12 and we are on our teapot cross stitch. This one. Also, I realize that on the back of the chart, or on the back of this, which has the chart on it, it does actually say that it's called teapot, so I was right. I gave it the right name. So we are still doing the, basically the handle portion of the chart. And this one's going to be a little bit, a little bit different here, but we are going to go over three. Go over three, and then I'm going to come back and go down here. and then continue on my way And then here. Is it here? I think it's here. Go down again. I'm going to be a little bit off. Basically what I'm doing here is what I discussed in another um, episode a couple uh, episodes back, another video a couple episodes back, of doing the Danish method of doing all of these stitches first and then going back and crossing over them because the way um, that this chart is set up here is that it's going to be difficult without um, carrying the thread not to Um, waste thread pretty much from the way this is set up although I've kind of messed it up already I was supposed to go down right here so I'm going to quickly go down there and do that before I get too far on the, the other row So this one is supposed to be one, two, three, four, five. This is not quite the perfect way to use Danish method because I've, I've kind of already screwed it up by not doing it right okay and then we come down here Yeah, I kind of totally did not, was not the best place to have done this. I probably could have kept it the way I was keeping it. It would have been fine. I got a little bit overzealous there with the um, half crosses. Some people, though, some people do, um, you know, needlepoint is basically done with half crosses. Like, it, it's te technically a different kind of half cross than this, like, this kind of half cross here. Um, it's called something else, like a continental stitch or a tent stitch or something like that. But um, needlepoint is technically done in half crosses. So some people will do um, cross stitch projects in just solely half crosses. Like uh, I know some people, especially for um, 
H A E D's, the Heaven and Earth Designs stuff, will do. Oops, I'm over the five minute mark. But they'll they'll do their entire project and have to just half crosses like this instead of um, full crosses. So anyway, we're at the five minute mark here. Kind of kind of screwed things up a little bit trying to do uh, trying to do something with my stitching in order to make it so that I could have the whole thing done when I came back around to do that spout part. But you live and you learn. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.